Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we look at the Advent Calendar plugin. So this plugin allows you to bring the holiday spirit into Minecraft where you have a Advent Calendar in a GUI and players can redeem it every single day up until the 25th and get some really nice rewards. So what I'm going to do is show you how it works in game and then how you can customize it in the config file to choose all of the GIFs. So first of all, if we were to do forward slash AC or Advent Calendar, that is going to open it normally. However, it's not December yet when I'm recording this. So it says it doesn't open for two days and seven hours. Now the good thing is using an admin command, AC admin preview, we can open it beforehand and give you a look about what it looks like. So here we have a typical advent calendar. You can see this one shows coal blocks for the first 15 days. Those are the ones that have been claimed. So if I were to click on any of these, such as day 12, it's going to say gift successfully claimed, happy holidays LC Jim, and the server says test because that is the default for every single day is for the server to just have a test message. Now for days one and two, I added a little command. So this one is going to give the player one diamond. And then day two is going to give them a hundred dollars using uh, Essentials Economy. So you can pretty much give them anything using any command that you want with any plugin. And it's that easy to customize. And then as you can see here, the present is going to change once people have redeemed it um, when they use it normally. Now there's a couple of other commands, there is the AC force command and then the player's name and that will force them to redeem the advent calendar if you want to do that. And then there is the AC admin and then reload command if you've changed anything in the config file which is where we're going now. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see there is the user data folder which saves everything the config.yml which is where we want to go. So up at the top we have the time zone so you can get a list on this Wikipedia page of which time zone you want. Currently it's the LA Pacific time but you could obviously change that depending on where the server is located and then we have the calendar month and day so it's going to be used in December and it starts on the 1st of December but you could do this in any month of the year or any day of the year if you really want it. And then do you want to allow players to have expired claims? So if it's the second, can they still get the 1st of December one, yes or no? And then should it display the numbers on the GIFs? Scroll down, we've just got a little bit about the GUI, so the title and the GIF name. You can see here is the coal material, so you could change that if you wanted, and then the filler material for the rest of the GUI. And then the important part is the rewards. So you can see rewards for day one and two I have edited. All you need to do is just grab this placeholder in order to grab the player's username and you can pretty much do anything. And as you can see here, it's very easy to give a command per day. You can have multiple commands for each day if you wanted to be very generous. Uh, day six, that's not particularly Christmassy. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but giving players various items and money would be very nice for this time of year. So now that we've done that, we can do the AC admin reload command. And then if we go back into the preview, we should be able to click the other days. So that is just going to tell me hello for day three. Day four is going to give me $99. Day five is going to be 10 emeralds. And then day six is going to be rather unpleasant. And that is how you would customize it. So here we are on the page where you download it. It's not Spigot, it is ModRinth this time. It is free to download. Just go to the link in the description. And it has all the information here that you could want about how to customize it and how it works. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.